Hello, Steve here, your personal trainer. I've been personal training for 20 years. Jackie's been personal training for quite a few years as well, but it's <laughs> bad to ask women about their age and stuff. So here we are. Do you know what really annoys me? When people tell me, and I hear it all of the time, I haven't got enough time to exercise. Oh, I haven't got time to exercise. Walking is exercise. Exercise doesn't have to mean you get your shorts on, you get your gear on, you go somewhere, you hit a ball, you do something. Exercise can be absolutely anything. And walking, is it hard enough? You bet it's hard enough, especially when you turn it into a power walking phase. So what we're gonna do now is we've already done a little demonstration earlier on of a little intro exercise walk. What we're gonna do is add some power. And what does power mean? The addition of speed. Now we're not necessarily going to go forwards much faster, but we're going to make our little actions that little bit quicker. Now the rule is this time, Jackie, we've got to keep our elbows at 90 degrees. Okay, mm -hmm. that's just an opportunity for me to show the camera my biceps just there. Oh dear, you got better biceps than me. <laughs> but hey, here's what we're going to do. We're going to keep our elbow at 90 degrees. We're not squeezing our wrists. We don't want to create any pressure in the forearms, but we just keep them like that. So when we're driving forwards, we lift our hand up to about eye level, but also drive backwards, okay? That's how we build the speed in. So if we were to do it on the spot here, face me, Jax, we just go like that. Bang, 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 bang. And if you were to do this right now, standing still, I guarantee you'd be able to feel your abdominals start to work. How great is that? Walking is like doing sit-ups stood up. Fabulous. So what we're gonna do, Get that going. You can see it's a smooth but fast action. 90 degrees at the elbow, hands coming up, chin height. So as soon as we start moving, you've got to pull your abdominals in. Now, question, why is it important to pull your abdominals in when you're doing power walking? Here's the answer. Not only is it good for your posture, but it looks good, okay? So you've got to think, do I want to look like this or do I want to look like this with better posture. So pull the abs in, pull the shoulders back. Feet wise, they're gonna be going a bit quicker. So what we have to do is pick up our toes. It looks like this. Instead of sort of drifting through with a toe, I want you to lead through with your heel. So when you come through, you're actually engaging these little muscles down in your shin. They've got a posh name, but we don't worry about that. The shin muscles, we're gonna lift up and come through like so. And that's what helps us to get that little bit of speed. And why is speed good? Because it burns more energy. And what's energy? Calories. More energy, more calories, happy, happy people. So elbows, abdominals, feet, what more do we need? Nothing. Off we go. Now you can see that we're not necessarily moving forward any faster. So we're not like a hazard on the pavement or anything. But what we're doing is getting more repetitions in for every metre we travel. Hands are coming up to chin height, abdominals are pulled in. I don't know about you, but I'm using my butt cheeks. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> giddy, giddy, giddy. That was one lap, let's go again. My bum looked big in this. <laughs> Excellent, keep it going. Check out that posture, pulling back those shoulders. Nice one, Jackie, nice one. So I know I had a little joke and I said about holding your stomach in because it looks good, but you know, there is a little bit of seriousness in there as well. Because if you do pull your shoulders back, your ribs here will naturally lift up. And that means you can get more air in and out of your lungs. Why is air great? Because it helps in the process of chasing that good, good, good quality red blood around the body. So it's gonna be transporting nutrients and transporting oxygen. So we wanna pump that blood. Power walk, Ready? power walk. Fingers are nice and relaxed. Heels coming through leading with the toes slightly lifted up. Look at that chin. Do you want to be here? <laughs> Nicely here. It's amazing, it doesn't take long. 
Start getting a bit of intensity up. Now, do you know what, guys? It would be absolutely brilliant if you get out and do me 15, 20, 25 minutes of that. Biggest mistake you can make is going out and going too fast in the first five minutes. Go slow. There's a big tendency to come out of the house and think everybody's watching you. Don't do that. Don't do that because what'll happen is you'll race out, go fast, boom, 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 boom. Anaerobic. You'll be going too fast, too soon. You're gonna get tired. Hark at us puffing. That's what'll happen. So when you come out, just treat the first five minutes as a little bit of a natural warm up and then start to increase the pace a little bit. 15 minutes or fly by. Some exercises are so much more fun when you're doing them with a friend and walking is great. So we're both gonna be huffing and puffing. We can go out, we can have a chat. It's so much better for you than sitting watching the telly to see who's gonna get knocked out of goodness knows what game show is on this week. So guys, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes of power walking, doing you so much good. If you're moving, you're improving. See you later.